Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Konjelska, and you're watching this cultural show, the best one in English in Poland. And today our topic is faith and the relationship with God, because with us in the studio is Paulina Adamek, a author of two books about this relationship with God. Paulina, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, you are currently publishing two books. One is uh, The Time of Dialogue and you are, the other one is The Time of Faith. Let's start about the covers of those books because they are very beautiful and also, I would say, minimalistic. Tell us, uh, how did you find those images? What are those images? I knew that the covers uh, have to be special. So I asked, asked my uh, friend Bogna Żuramska, which uh, is a painter, to um, paint or maybe write an icons. Um, she is a specialist with, with writing the, icons yeah, and being an artist. Yes, art. So uh, I have also asked my graphic designer to, to create something, yes, minimalistic. Those icons are having a main thought related to, um, to the book. Uh, firstly, uh, the cover of Time of Dialogue. It is about uh, icon of Holy Trinity, but it seems to be uh, like three angels sitting into one table. And three angels sitting into one table. Yes. And so you... And you providing conversation. But this icon uh, has been made uh, in a different way because um, it is not a regular uh, icon, but Bogna has painted faces of the Holy Trinity in more kind of expressive way, just to emphasize there is a real dialogue in between those characters. So it, is, it was ordered specially for, uh, for the book. Yeah. Exactly, and if it comes about a uh, cover of Time of uh, the Grace, it shows the Michael... Arch Ar Archangel Arch Michael. Archangel, yeah, that is uh, trampling the devil. And it shows that uh, God is constantly condemning the sin, but the grace is to... Um, it is bigger. Yeah. It's more important. This particular grace is uh, that God forg forgive our sins. Even though we are weak, uh, God loves us. And uh, this is the, the biggest grace. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about uh, with the project of the book, because you have also, it's not only your story, but you also make interviews with people uh, surrounding you or people who you know who are people of God, let's say, or who are people of strong faith. Yeah, the time of dialogue is mainly about the interviews with plenty of different people. They share uh, their experiences, how they found the appropriate way to get even closer to God. They are with a different baggage of uh, experience. And, well, the time of dialogue shows um, people that are actively involved in the uh, real life of, of the church. They are not only a Catholic that uh, go to the mass, but they are, uh, for example, uh, running the social media with uh, gospel for young people. They are uh, organizing pilgrimages. They are filming uh, about um, history of, uh, of the church. They are also journalists, but the characters are uh, also a clergy that say about uh, some missions. And uh, those people are either families or uh, actors, they are. Um, there is a actor that says about his testimony. It shows that uh, the grace is real, and you can convert in any time. Important part of your life was uh, a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Could you tell us a little bit uh, what would what, what have you seen there, and uh, what was your experience of this holy city? 
Yeah, I was shocked because I was invited to the private pilgrimage uh, from my uh, friend, and it was the biggest dream of my uh, childhood. Ever since I've I, I seen the uh, passion of Mel Gibson, I was just wondering how to how it is to be in the Garden of Olives. I didn't have a chance uh, from my entire life to uh, to visit uh, Jerusalem, but it was a quick decision. Yes, <laughs> it was a quick decision, and even though I. Uh, it was uh, three months ago. It was a special uh, journey because I was feeling that I follow the steps of uh, of Jesus. So uh, I was experiencing uh, a lot of different uh, feelings because Jerusalem is not only a Christian uh, city, but there are yes, many. But Mainly, uh, it is uh, Jewish and Muslims. Uh, actually, it is uh, one percent of Christians in Jerusalem, which um, shocked me a lot. But also a lot of pilgrimages and a lot of Polish yes. pilgrimages, which kind of fill this gap. Yeah, and uh, we were mm, stepping along to Via Dolorosa uh, when uh, where Jesus. When to be crucified, yes. Yes, and was uh, taking his uh, cross. I was in a few different places, churches, for example, the church of Paternoster, when, uh, where Jesus mm, sat and taught the, taught the apostles the uh, prayer of our Father. Tell us a little bit more about your relation with the Virgin Mary and this uh, experiencing her as a mother, especially facing the fact that you have suffered a lot in your life. Uh, you suffered the illness, your own illness, but you suffered also and faced the, um, the fact that your dad went through a cancer and unfortunately he passed away. So you had this um, very, very, two very strong experiences. And um, I would say, uh, well, of course, Christianity puts in the center also a uh, suffering, but it's well, it's easy to say. It's much harder to experience. Yes, exactly. Well, I was uh, praying on behalf of uh, Holy Mary to. Uh, I was just asking God to build a relation with uh, her as, as with my mother, real mother, because. Jesus said from the from the cross, "This is your mother," to John the Apostle, and well, I knew that it is important to to know how to talk with uh, with Holy Mary. And I know that percentage of your book, so per percentage of um, income which you will make on the selling of the books, you're going to donate to all such kind of uh, places and all such kind of hospitals of uh, the, the last care. The thing is that my dad uh, was into hospice, so uh, I think that in my heart was a huge uh, need to, to support hospices in Poland and also some uh, missions. So uh, my aim uh, into realizing the books is to donate uh, about 50% of uh, income from sales. Well, I have decided that I will uh, self-publish uh, those books because cooperating with publishing house will, will not possible. allow yeah will not allow and this uh, wouldn't be possible or even insignificant let's say so uh, hence the decision to um, to donate money each month for a particular mission or charity aims because it is important to uh, to help other people because uh, a lot of them do not have uh, an influence or uh, on their lives, and considering even the war at uh, Ukraine, it is uh, a huge responsibility from our side to uh, help 
for example, to refugees and uh, other people in uh, need. So to all of you, if you are a and daily, of course, this is an invitation to, well, donate money if the causes are close to your heart. And of course, we strongly encourage you to take those two books, The, Dia the Time of Dialogue and The Time of Grace of Paulina Adamek, and make it to a bestseller. And again, thank you very much for watching our show.